hello today i'm going to show you how you can do asp.net mysql database connection with session in log route so first of all we are going to create one new website here we have to take this empty website and i have to change your path now here we have to add one page now in this page we need two text boxes and one button one is for username one is for password i am going to use table trtd so you can get this in good format now we need another text box here i am going to write name t2 and now we are going to write one button in design now we can see how it looks yes now here we have to change sorry 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 we have to use here logic yes now we are going to create one mysql database now here we have to create one new database i am going to create one database name testing underscore mysql now here we are going to take one table with two field okay so now we have one table now in this table i am going to insert values in go okay now here we have to add one library so for library you have to use here add reference in my video description you can see the path of this dll so you can download this dll from internet now here we have to add one library and we have to add connection string and here we have to give our database name our database name is testing underscore mysql okay now we have to do here login form code this is the default page so it is for login page so i am going to change your name okay now i am going to add one more page 
this is for log out and i am going to add one more page general.aspr this general.aspr we consider uh, between login and log out page like in gmail if you consider gmail then inbox compose mail send mail this all are pages between login and log out okay so now here mysql command cmd now cmd dot command type command type dot text here we have to write select query select star from login this login is our table name which we pass here and we have two field one is username and one is password where username is equal to and password is equal to and here we have to pass our text box name so we have two text box t1 dot text and t2 dot text now here we have to execute non query data table sql data adapter now d dot fill dt and here we have to pass for each data row dr in dt dot rows okay now here i am going to take one more label for invalid username and password if user enter invalid username and password then we can show in here here you can write this will run if this will not run means this record not found then and then only this will run if this record is found then we write over here response dot redirect so it forward to in one page to another page we are forwarding in this now here we take our username in session okay first we run this and get this i'm going to enter we get here message now we are going to write correct username and password you can see we are following in general.aspr now we have to set here star so user cannot see this password so for that go in design right click property and here text mode password okay now we use here this session so between login and log out all pages you have to use one condition i am going to write here condition if session username is equal to is equal to null means there is no value in this session then we have to do response dot redirect 
login.asps if your 20 pages between login and logout pages you have to put this condition in all pages now in logout page we have to write only session and response dot redirect login dot sps now i am going to show you first i put this page as a start page now i am going to run this page first i enter correct username and password okay now you can see we are in general page here now i am going to run logout page now we are logout now i am going to open here general page and you can see i forwarded on login page i cannot open this general page without login so this way we can do this way you can manage session with mysql thank you